Hello guys, welcome to today's video tutorial by Trust Stanley at TS Tech Talk. Today guys, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a Facebook Messenger kids and, and also show you guys how to make use of that. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to set it up on this device and I'm going to install it on a different device that I have close to me. So we are going to run it on this device and also another device just in case um, you have two kids and one might probably be using your device and the other one might be using a different device which you bought for your kid and you also want to be able to manage them on the same device. So guys, let me um, go ahead and show you guys how to set this up first. So um, you guys have different ways to get this um, Facebook Messenger Kids installed. You can go ahead and search for Messenger Kids right here and you are going to see the Messenger Kids show here and you can click on install. Or you can come to your Facebook application, open the menu section, go to see more option and then scroll down to where you see Messenger Kids and click on it and you are going to notice some options that says next. So you click on next and then you add in first name and last name of your kids and then um, enter them. But before I do that, let me first of all install the application which is going to be the first thing to do. Click on install so that it installs the Messenger Kids um this might take a while so i'm going to have to pause this video while it installs <laughs> all right so once the messenger kids has completed installed just go ahead and click on open to open the messenger kids and it's still going to show you the same setup that it showed previously and guys you should note that you need to log in your main facebook account which is the parent facebook account that you want to use to manage your kids account so whichever device you are using this either you bought a different device for your kids you are still going to log in your account so go ahead and you can notice there is an option that says confirm your parent or guardian so you need to confirm that you are parent or guardian and it's definitely going to ask you to log into your own account and this is actually my facebook account and i have to log in with my password to authorize this device to make use of the facebook messenger kids if we didn't do this we would not be able to um the kid will not be able to use um, the Facebook Messenger kids on this device. So I have to log in my password. So I have to pause this video to do that. So once you're done typing in your password, just click on authorize device and it's going to confirm it. And now you can now start creating your child's first name and last name. So go ahead and enter the first name of the child. Um, this is actually for a tutorial base i don't have a kid yet i don't have a child yet so i'm just going to put um, a name that comes to my mind at random so now i have to enter the date of birth of that kid i don't have a kid yet like i said so i'm just going to make sure i enter i enter um i enter a duration that has to do with the same month and make sure that i will just make sure that i enter a year that enters um probably um before 18 years because probably anybody that's above 18 is probably no longer a kid so i'm going to enter this particular year and then continue and then click on create account to create that particular account and wait for it to install now you can notice there are options here the options that is showing me right here are actually other kids that are that are making use of facebook and i can go ahead and add them right here they are actually the kids that are actually friends with me and then you can notice their accounts are displayed i have more friends on facebook but the reason why it's showing this option is because these are probably my friends kids that are on facebook so i'm going to add two of them because this is just a tutorial base anyway i'm going to delete this account later on so click on next to confirm it and now it's going to show me um family and friends that i can add so i can go ahead and search to add some family and friends that i can easily chat with so once they see they are definitely going to accept the invite and chat with me so um you can go ahead and search for anybody if you can't see anybody right here once you're done just click on next and you can notice it says choose adult um for chigozi to chat with now i can choose more adults by selecting right here i just chose two so once you're done now you can notice it says 
um, there are instructions here you can go ahead and read that I will not spend more time reading it because it's probably going to waste the time of the video so um, actually it says these kids and parents will be able to see your child's profile that is the people that have already added as friend so if I want to allow it I can just go ahead and allow if not I can say not allow whichever one I choose now you can see another option that says kids can use four way codes to find each other so i can go ahead and turn that on if i want i can go ahead and turn that off if i don't want any kids to find my own kids so but for some reason i'm going to leave that on because i want to show you guys how to do that so now this is actually the code that um the kids have and you can notice it says pine Fine, um, feeling real drum. So this is actually the four-way code that um, the kid will have to memorize to actually find other friends. So if he sends this to other people, they can easily find them. Now you can see it says allow child to choose contacts. So I can allow them to choose contacts, but if you are more like a protective parent, you can just say um, not allow. If you choose not allow, that means you have to be the one to choose um contacts that your kids will be able to add but um if i go ahead and allow this that means the kid can easily allow and search for people with their own contact now you can notice it has more options that says search for parent and guardian so um this kid could actually find the parent and guardian does if you want um if you want to find more parent and guardian you can go ahead and click on search for parent and guardian but if not just click on not now to just keep that particular step because this is just a tutorial based like i say uh, i don't want to make more of it and now you can notice there are more information also that says this part for your um for you this part is for you um here are a few things you can do to make sure that everything has a good time on your messenger kids so um be kind be respectful be safe be, um have a fun this is actually for the kid to read so you can go ahead and read it for the kid if they can't read yet but probably you won't give a phone to a kid that don't know how to read so once um they are done reading this just go ahead and say we agree and allow access to allow access to camera and microphone and more of those stuffs and then you can go ahead and choose to take a photo that's if you want to take a photo right now if not i'm going to back out because i don't want to take a photo right now but if you want to take a photo just go ahead and do that so i want to skip this part oh it's persisting so let me just take any photo actually okay So um, go ahead and choose a default color for the app. I'm going to choose this um, red color and you can notice it still shows more and more and let's go. So once you're done, you're going to notice more of this option displays and you can notice right above this area that is already showing the chart, right? And if you click on this section, this is actually my own chart, but this is a kids chart and i'm just going to go ahead and close that out and this is a case chart and these are more of my contacts and let me see it still displays actually so um let me go ahead and nest 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 and you can see um if you don't like how this app uses information, let your parent know and contact us. So click on next. And this finally is your kid's messenger. So from here, your kid can easily come here and send message with a sticker and say hello to their uncle and easily chat with anybody they choose to chat. That's actually because I've added these people. So this is more of... um. There is more of the messenger and this is the chat. 
this right here is actually my own option this right here is actually the kids messenger and if anything is going on right now you can click on visit parental dashboard to visit the parental dashboard and click on the facebook to select to visit parental dashboard of the facebook messenger kids and from here on you can manage your kids and if you are feeling like you want to remove anybody you want to remove any contact you can easily click here and remove any contact and let me go right back and show you guys more so that you understand it right here is the contacts that are actually friend with your kids because i added them and if you want to add more people you can click on this messenger option and click on add friend now you can easily add friends to chat with with making use of this code option right here so if you click on this code and probably another kid will give you um a code and you can type in the code whatever code that is if this is the kid's code then you can now click on add to chat that is if it's correct but this is not correct because i just typed that at random because i don't have anybody's contact so if your kid might have um collected a code from her own friend or his own friend and then enter the code right here you can easily add that and it will pop up and you can add them as friend but because we don't have any kid that's chat that um we can search so we can easily close that out now you can notice the, your kid don't have access to unfriend anybody right here they can easily chat with them and say hello to any of their friends but they don't have access to chat with um other people and you can notice at random my name is actually showing because i am the parent of this person so the kid can easily chat with their parent and you can see the option display right here so all i'm saying is this is the chat this is where um they can easily chat with their friends this is the dashboard of the messenger chat so they can easily chat with their friends right here and it, they can also play a game if they want to play game and they can grow their pet by clicking on this option there is a lot of fun things to do apart from chat with um friends on messenger but i'm going to be skipping a lot of that you can easily play some games and take m more photos and share with your friends and do some other fun things with it you guys can take time to look out um look at all these stuff and see how it goes but the thing is your kids can't be able to add other people as friend or remove people as friend but you'll be able to do that if your kids is feeling um if your kids is actually feeling feeling um maybe abused or you notice you notice some things change in your kids in your kids chat or behavior you can easily come to the parental dashboard by clicking on parents dashboard once you click on that go ahead and select the facebook option and you can easily come here and come over to contacts and after you've selected the contacts you can easily click here and then remove the contacts and click on remove to confirm so after you've removed them come over to the um, facebook messenger kids and you can notice the person is lo no longer displayed here and if for some reason you want to add them back just go right back to the dashboard again um choose people and then um search and then add and you can add as many as you want mm -hmm. so you can notice there is a notification that the person has been added and you can go right and add some other people i can remove this whenever i want this is just for tutorial base anyway so you can notice they are being added and they are displayed here so this is not like um this is not like it's um a friend request where the person will have to accept the friend request since they are already friends with you you can easily go ahead and add them and they will be displayed right here and they can easily chat with your kid so um that's just how to do that and managing your uh, parental dashboard there is a lot of things to do and like you can still check the activities of your of your kids and to see the conversation that is going on so far right here on your dashboard and you can see come right here and control your kids um detail if you want to change anything you can easily come right here and make any changes that you want so that, guys that's it and i still want to show you guys more thing on this tutorial on the kids dashboard you can always come right here to kids um and see 
uh, see and their name and all those stuff and how to manage it but there is one more thing i want to test about this app i want to install this app on a different device that's the messenger kids let me see how it works on different device if i'm still going to be able to manage it on this other device so i'm just going to show you guys that stuff right now let's see how it works all right so over on this device i have installed a messenger kit and this is my samsung j1 so if i go ahead and click on open it's going to load up and open the app after i've installed it and do not forget guys again for the parents that will be managing the device you still need to log in your details in order to manage this uh, device so you can notice it says confirm your parent and guardian just click on confirm so i will have to put in my email and password because currently i'm not logged in to this device so i'll go ahead and do that right now by pausing this video and doing that all right so i've logged in and i'm waiting for it to load it's been it might take a while um before it comes up depending on how fast your internet is it doesn't actually take that long but because um the network is not that fast it's going to take a while all right so there you go you can notice the previous setting i had for this device was red so you can notice i have to click on next next let's go and you can notice all these previous guys that added initially are still showing right here so i just want to test it on different device to see how different it looks or how same it looks so you can notice i can still send message to all these people while once they are online then this other person is online an hour ago 15 minutes ago offline 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 and then if i click on add you can notice i i'll be able to add um i'll still be able to add friends just like on the previous device so i can have to i will have to add in the code and then click on start chat to start chatting with the person then if not i will have to wait for the parent to actually add the device so that i'll be able to see them here so it's really not different from the previous one i just checked on my other device but i'm just uh, i'm just trying to show you guys to see if there are difference because some people complain some people complain that they were having errors installing this but so far there is no error even on this device and also on my main account where i have it installed now you can notice on this device i don't have um facebook app installed right but i actually have this messenger so it only shows the messenger for your kids so now you can notice this is actually what displays for for your friends um for your kids um profile account so they can easily send this to their friend and their friend can use this to add them as friend and even though they forget this detail they can always click on this profile icon to see the code so they can easily check it and then log in and you can notice i can still um okay somebody just came online and i can easily notice that and then chat with the person so now this is the date of birth added by parent and parent can also manage and edit the date of birth and uh, you can also notice who sees it co contacts and all of those stuff so when you click on switch account it's definitely going to switch the account to um probably a new account or a different kids account then if i click on create account i can easily create a new account but if not just click on the icon to click and switch the account also so um if you have different kids they can you can go ahead and create account for them by clicking on this profile icon and then selecting switch account and then creating it so nothing much about this video this is all i have to show you guys right now so until next time guys stay home and stay safe and if you have any question about the facebook messenger kids please leave it on the comment below i'm definitely going to answer that and if it's something i do not know i'm going to make some research about it and i'll be seeing you guys on my next video while we go on all right stay home and stay safe peace